So it doesn't, well, it does matter, but it doesn't particularly matter in any in any like real sense to me all right so and this is me continuing on my path of enlightening men and I'm gonna I'm gonna start out I have it on videotape there's no lying it's on tape it's there, it's visible in the court of law. It would uphold 1000%, period. Of a circumstance that I had to go through, it's unfortunate, but it happens. Thankfully, I had videotape of it because now I'm exonerated, it's whatever, doesn't matter. But I want to dive into the why of why women do this and why they feel so entitled to make false accusations and this, that, and the other. Like I said, I got the tape. If anybody wants to ask, it's right there. E-Y-D-L, 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 it's my deal. Nobody can lie. The tape is the tape. But why women feel so entitled to make false accusations lie, manipulate, whatever they want to do, I I'm I'm completely perplexed by that. And on a side note, this is completely separate. Let's just put that subject in a box and put it away. On a side note, I don't understand the people that are like crazy, stupid, angry drunks. I don't get it. I know those people exist. I've witnessed them. I've been a part of them. I get it. But I'm just not that tight. Like, when I drink, I'm just like, happy-go-lucky and let me sleep. I don't have any angry bone in my body. And I was actually talking to my buddy about that um, yesterday. Uh, he was like, you know, whatever, talking about drinking and shit. And I was literally talking to him. I'm like, dude, you know me when I drink. <clears throat> If anything, I'm trying to break up fights and prevent fights. And he's like, fuck, yeah, you're right. And if anything, I'm like, let's have fun and don't worry about everything else. And he's like, shit, yeah, you're right. Shit, yeah, you're right. Over and over again about many, many things. But there are some people, undoubtedly... That when they drink, they just become giant fucking assholes. Which is what I dealt with earlier this evening. That I have on camera. And if the cops want to come review it, they shall come. I do not care. Um, but it, yeah, it's just some people, they don't. They don't have that, like, limit of, like, okay, it's time for me to stop, per se. And it's sad. I mean, it's, it's sad because you can see, like, this paradigm shift in their personalities. It's not like they go, like, uh, a little bit above. No, 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 no. They, they flip completely. I go from, like, this loving, sweet person to, like, this monster. And I'm not blaming fucking alcohol for that. I'm really not. 
I'm really, really not. But I've seen it happen real time to where somebody I care about is fucking normal. They drink too much and they become a giant piece of shit. What am I supposed to do? You know? Other than deal with the repercussions. <coughs> But it is what it is. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It reminds me of saying that a drunk man's words are a sober man's thoughts. That's true. That has to be true. There's no way that's not true. The thing is, if somebody is polite, genuine, docile, cooperative, etc. By nature, when they drink, that only amplifies. But if they're fucking evil, sadistic, manipulative, abusive, whatever by nature, and they drink, guess what? That amplifies. Very easy. I don't know. I guess some people can handle their alcohol and some some people can't. I don't I don't fucking know. Anyway. I'm sure uh <laughs> stupid ass. I'm sure the police will be arriving here any moment. Um, but I have everything on tape. I haven't done anything wrong. And uh, if they show up, all I'm gonna do is show them the video. Look, here you go. Look it, look at this, look at this. Done deal. Oddly enough, it was advice I gave to my brother a long time ago. Have that shit on tape, bro. Have that shit on tape. And he did. And guess what? It worked. So I did the same goddamn motherfucking thing. And even this. Check this out. Mirror all off. So my webcam that I normally use... Look at Bitch cut the fucking cord of it. <laughs> you can't even make this shit up. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I just spit like fire or just complete bullshit, but I guess you'll figure it out if anything hits home. Honestly, you know, let me let me take a breath and, and recollect for a second. <sighs> Where you at, baby? Where you at, baby? You here? Are you here? Uh, so to me personally, I think it's... incredibly tragic that these individuals have to keep repeating their trauma over and over and over again. I've been through some shit. I understand it. 
sometimes that shit just doesn't let go of you. Even how hard you try to push it off of you, it just doesn't let go. I get it. I thought I was bad. Oh, no, 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 no. These people are way worse. Where it... I would say that, like, my trauma will, like, kind of fuck with me here and there. Just a little bit. And I go, no, 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 Nick, you're good. Don't worry about it. But I still might get, like, a little bit emotional, a little bit upset. You know, naturally. But these people, they let their trauma dictate everything they do. And when I mean everything they do, I mean everything they do. Everything. What was the one? The one hey, damn. There's one example. I'm trying to remember. I know it starts out with this girl. That she was abused as a child. I was dating her. Pretty girl. God damn, she was pretty. Pretty girl. And she would literally bitch at me, start problems with me for putting the pencil down the wrong way or the pen. I'm like, yo, know, it's a pen. What are you bitching about? Because it wasn't about the pen. It wasn't about the way it was directed. The angular... <laughs> whatever the fuck. It wasn't about any of that. It was about the fact that something in her triggered her like past traumas. And her need for control. And this is what I've noticed with people with past trauma. Is they always are like control freaks. Always. Now, I could run through my house in probably about one minute, haphazardly, and point out all the things my ex-girlfriend complained about. I could do it. And it's all stupid shit. Why is there a towel there? Why is this that way? Why is this that? Why is the bed there? Why is the bedside table there? Why is it... You fucking name it. It was a problem. These people aren't healthy. They're not healthy. And it's sad. It really is sad. Because like. I don't know. I feel sympathy for them. And I want them to do better in life. And like achieve something. But. When you have that kind of mentality, you, you can't. Hi, baby. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? I say hi. Hiya. Hiya. You're such a chunkers. But yeah, I just, I don't know what you do with that, man. I don't know what you do with that. And honestly, Poe, don't put your butt in the camera. The best thing to do is just leave. Just get get the fuck away from them. Just get the fuck away from them. They're nothing but trouble. They're never going to start anything good in your life. You're better off alone. Leave. But it does. It hurts. It feels like shit. It does. It really does. But you gotta do it. You know, self-preservation is more important than anything else.